Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a level 3 Galgood cannon. So, this is an unlimited room. It is a 550 point mobile suit. I got this in the same uh, 10 roll as I got my Rook DS, and I love it. I'm, I'm pretty fond of Galgoods in general, as you know. The cannon, I'm not always good with, but when I am, it just works really well for me, and this is one of those rounds. This this thing is just a beast, and I'm hoping to show it off. Neil to fire, missed the shot, missed the follow-up bazooka. It's got that nice, quick three-round grenade launcher. It not only uh, fires quickly, but reloads quickly. It's also the reason I put one of these in Mega Man colors once, because it just really does kind of just fire three quick pellets like the Mega Buster. And got that. Took the downswing on that memo. And, you know, brave pilot on that memo, you know, coming in. Maybe this was only a 500 point room, but I'm almost certain it was a 550. We'll find out when, uh, eventually if we see, like, GPO2s and things here. But, yeah, if it, if it is, very brave of that memo to, uh, uh, to be in a uh, room where there are 100 points down from the uh, possible maximum. But I'm trying to think, it's almost got to be, because it was a level 3, that the level 1 of the Gelgud Cannon is 450, so that's got to be 550. Now there's that memo. Let's see what else we get. Eventually we will kill something that's worth 550 points and we will know. But my memory is terrible. I, I have said before, memory like a steel sieve. Ah, there's a GPO3. Uh, GPO3. And yet, yeah, argument settled, it's a 550 room. So yeah, v very bold of that uh, Nemo pilot to uh, even set foot in here. But let's see, Rick DS twirling its way out of uh, out of harm's way, which works for a while. Mm, shot. I keep forgetting the Rick DS has level two leg uh, leg reinforcement skill, which means that. The leg, re the leg and head reinforcement and back... I think there may be something that has a backpack reinforcement skill, too, but the reinforcement skills act have actual damage reduction. It's not just that they keep your legs from being disabled uh, more efficiently. It is that they have... They reduce the uh, damage to your legs, in the Rick DS's case, by 15%. So, on a Rick DS, try to aim for center mass, which I am still not remembering here. But that cannon, if I can land a good shot with that. Let's see. Tagged it. Almost 6,000 damage. Yeah, the Gelgud cannon's beam cannon is great. Missed that shot. It missed me. Trying to close with me, which I don't recommend. Yeah, the downswing on this thing, too, is absolutely vicious. I... I... I wound up surprised by it a couple of times during this round, just the, the sheer power of that melee. Of course, this is unlimited, and I do have the level 4 Beam Naginata on it, so it does have a little bit of a boost compared to what it would have in any kind of cost form. But yeah, as you can see, I tagged that Rick Diaz in the legs instead of the uh, instead of the torso or head, and I only did 4,800 as opposed to 5,600 damage. It's a significant difference. Let's see. Also, they do have that explosion uh, defense, so since I only hit with the splash damage, it was not stunned, and that le that first downswing I was uh, trying to line up did not happen. But so far, so good. A lot of enemies here, though, and I need to be careful. That GPO3 has the range to destroy me if I'm not uh, if I'm not careful. Caught it. Downswing again. Yeah, what? Three thousand damage, and actually. That was a very opportune time to fall off the side of the world, because it kept that GPO-3 from following up on me in any meaningful way. So next I'm going to go over here, where I have a little bit of space to line up my next shot. And I'm gonna, uh, going to hopefully tag something pretty hard. Scoped in is plus 5% damage. That is a kill, I think, on the GPO-3 again. Wonder what that what the beam defense on those is like. I'm thinking just from the effect I'm having on them, not good. Let's see. All of my weapons are overheating. Grenade launcher will be ready first. Missed with that. Rocket launcher is ready. It uses the rocket launcher that the high mobility Gelgug and uh, a few other mobile suits use. It's very similar to the giant bazooka. There's just like a few minor differences of range and power, I believe. 
and I was not actually mindful enough of my own hit points there. I didn't realize I was that low. Of course, it's Galgug Jaeger. Those hit pretty hard, too, so that factored in as well. But we're doing pretty well, 7,600 to 5,100, and yeah, like I said, this Galgug Cannon is, is fantastic, and I'm probably going to be using it more often because it is just great. And let's see. It takes about, I think, 17 seconds to spawn back in. Yeah, so time to ready up some beams and see what I can hit with them. But I'm with two and a half minutes left. They could overtake us. They could win it, but I don't. I'm pretty sure they won't. Well, I know they don't because this round I do remember because I really enjoyed it. Yeah, waiting for the shot. Boom. Detonated the shield. And got my got the you know one of the fairly basic combos you get uh, get with this if you land the rocket launcher it's pretty easy to follow with the uh, grenades and that person is kind of at a bad angle for me to try and hit also I'm the only thing here in the entire team can kind of has a, has a line on me so I need to watch out as it is though I'm getting greedy so I need to watch that that's that memo again with the gym rifle which is a really good rifle now I'm getting GPO 3 and I think that's... I'm not sure which uh, mobile suit that was that was attacking me, but it's a good time for me to be over here, because there's just too many things. Caught that... No, didn't quite catch that person, and my legs got overloaded, so... Yeah, that was... Uh, that was a thing. I, that, that, that was the closest to a frustrating part of the round that I actually got, because... Yeah, just the entire enemy team just bearing down on me in that one location, and there was one person over there fighting... Yeah, number four was over there fighting at least one other thing, but yeah, we, we need to be grouped here. As close as this has gotten, with a minute left, I, I'm really kind of amazed I did not end up with my chat locked down for the rest of the round. Because, yeah, I was spamming bunch up. I think I'm still spamming bunch up, because we need to bunch up. Caught that, 4,800, and just trying to get this person down without uh, getting too far from my team. Missed that shot. Grenades are ready if I get a chance. And I'm taking some shots now, and I've gotten pretty far from the team. Also, I'm in danger of being surrounded again if I'm not careful. And I am pulling back. At least I'm not getting surrounded. Down swing took. Sometimes I get the sense that people don't expect supports to actually use their melee. And it's I, I feel like as long as you're not just charging in head first with you know, using something like Mudrock as balancers, you have a little bit better chance of landing it. So either way, we are about to be out of time. I was kind of hoping to get that kill right before the end, but I think I did pretty well here, all considered. So that is definitely a win. A little closer than I might have liked at the end, but we did eventually come back together. Even though I didn't really bunch up as well as I should have after all that. 4,500 points, 107,000. I was the most targeted. And 8 kills, 2 deaths, and my uh, all-time high scores in unlimited ranked, uh, unlimited rated for both damage and score. So... That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. So till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! One of the things about watching these back that is actually kind of helpful to me is you, I can kind of watch where I am overly critical of other players using tells while doing a lot of the same things myself. Uh, like telling them to bunch up and then wandering off on my own to try and take down that one Rick Diaz. Yeah, that, that was not...